shortly what the purpose of this was. All right, so this, this will be our magnet. That's where our magnet's gonna go. Here we go. All right, we are flush. Two magnets in there. Oops. Filled up my glue bottle. I think I forgot. Need one more clamp. All right, we'll set that aside. Gotta make the TARDIS somehow. I know that I want to paint this, but I was hoping that I could also get an impression um, for maybe some of the, the features. I don't, I'm not a carver, and I'm not planning on carving it, but um, it would be nice to just have an idea of the parts. Huge fans of The Doctor. Started watching in 2005. I introduced my wife to the show as the Matt Smith character, and as far as she's concerned, Matt Smith is the only doctor. So it's true what they say, which is you never forget your first doctor. I'm really looking forward to, um, to the new doctor. I think that's kind of the fun of the show, is that it's always changing. And the only thing missing is the paint job. and a couple of magnets on top. And, because they're magnets, no clamping required. Bonds instantly with fingers. Gotta love crazy glue. All right, I gotta go find some acetate. Actually, Actually, that's not bad. Let's see what that looks like. This might be pretty close. That's not bad. While it is not perfect, it is not, it, it totally is a TARDIS. Somebody would look at that and say, that's a, that's a TARDIS. It's like a caricature. That is a caricature of a TARDIS, even if it's not perfect, you know, it doesn't have all the molding and everything, it's recognizable as a TARDIS. And that's the goal. I want it to, to be noticed, recognizable as the TARDIS. So here's the trick. Here's my board. It's glued up. It's got the magnet inside. And what I want to do is I want to make this a picture frame. We'll cut the first one, and then I'll use that to lay out the marks here for the second one. Okay, so here is the plan, which was, I've got my four sides, right? And I'm gonna glue them together, and in there, I'll float my TARDIS. <laughs> I don't even have room to fit this in there, much less float it. I'm not sure exactly where I came up with those numbers, but um, they're wrong. <laughs> so, It doesn't have to be a box. Really should take more time to plan these things. All right. Looking better. Maybe 
a stand of some sort. All right. Tim and I got that sorted. Ourselves a little stand here, a half lap joint. On to the sanding. Put on a little blow here. Get the wood a little pop. Okay, here's what I've got. Got my stand and an eye bolt in there. And I've got an eye bolt in the TARDIS. And we'll remember that there's a magnet right above this. I've got a section of wire and I bought some barrel swivels. This should hang above there. I'll have the swivel here in the center connected with the wire on either side. So hoping you can see what I can see, which is a completed stand, walnut, maple, our TARDIS, which is at this point physically connected to the stand with a magnet, and at the bottom here and what we're going to do is we're just going to start tightening this. It is held in place only with the magnet. It's actually a pretty strong connection at this point. All ready for the new doctor. Your TARDIS awaits. All right. Well, when Steve Ramsey announced that he was going to build the TARDIS. I, uh, I knew this was time for my, my project. I've been thinking about this one for a while um, and it seemed as good a time as any to release it. So a little unplanned West Coast TARDIS building. I also expect that there's going to be lots of other folks building Doctor Who themed um, projects this week or this month maybe. But um, I wanted to get mine out early. <laughs> It's hard to not just play with it. I just keep finding myself playing with it. Anyway, I hope you like it. And um, if you're not into Doctor Who, now is as good a time as any to check it out. Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe.